Hey guys, Mrs. Talk Techie here. And uh, for today's tech tutorial, I wanna show you how easy it is to create a PDF that has hyperlinks in it. That means it's interactive. You can click on links and it'll take you directly to that website. You can click on an image, it'll take you to that website. You can click on text and it'll do the same. So I wanna show you how easy it is to do that on Keynote. So the first thing is, here you see I have this Mac and Via, this resource. I've already started creating this because when we went to this uh, remote learning uh, with our kiddos, one of the things we struggled with is having them read books because our library is on campus and they're at home. So we needed to push out something that was gonna have all the resources where they could find books uh, and identify their book level and, and be able to test on that book and things like that. So these are some of the resources all in one, and I think that's great to have something that's comprehensive for our kiddos. So the first thing is, this is one of the sites they have. It's called Mac and Via. So I wanna show you three things. I wanna show you one, how to create a regular uh, link, uh, which is www. whatever anything that has a .com, .edu, .org. Two, how to create a link out of text, in which they click on the text and it'll take them there. And um, three, how to create an image that will, uh, they can click on it and it'll be interactive and it'll take them to, to that website or that link. So the first thing is, let's create the link for Mac and Via. Very simple, I'm gonna add text and I'm gonna macandvia.com. And uh, as soon as I press the space bar or enter, it turns into a link. Now on Keynote, for some reason on my end, it always makes it blue, I mean black, uh, but I think it's important to make it blue because that's kind of universal for click on me, I'm a, I'm a link. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this to blue. And then just so that it can fit, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. Oh, I'm not clicked on it. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. There you go. So now, how do I make sure that this is a link? Because it automatically makes it as soon as you click on, uh, start typing out www, right? So I'm gonna click on it, and it's gonna show me that um, it's a link and where it's gonna take me to. So you always wanna check them out because you don't wanna have to go back and redo things. So I'm gonna open the link, and let's see if it takes me to the website. Perfect. So it took me exactly to where I wanted it to go. Now I can move on to the second one. And the second one is how to create uh, hyperlinks out of just text. So here I added a text again, and I want them to be able to click on this and send them to a link that will allow them to check if the book they just read or the book they wanna read is testable through our, our reading platform. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna type in here, click here, to check if uh, to check if your book is testable. So then I'm going to just kind of make it so that it fits better, make it smaller. Right here. So I want to make this a hyperlink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it. And if you're using a Mac, uh, especially because we're doing it off of Keynote, a right click is basically two fingers pressed down and then you're gonna get this menu bar and you're gonna put add link and you're gonna go to website. So now you have here where you need to put in that website. So you gotta make sure that you grab your website and our website is called AR Book Finder, which is Accelerated uh, Reader Book Finder. This is the one that allows the kids to type in the title of the book and check the book level, how many points it gives them, um, and even the quiz number to facilitate testing. So I'm gonna copy this link, this URL, and I'm gonna go back here, and all I'm gonna do is Control V, Enter, and there it is. So let me check it out to see if it works. Open link, and there it is. It works, perfect. But again, we always want the, the, the link to look like a link. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna make it blue 
and I'm gonna underline it. And like that, everybody knows that they can click on it and it'll take them to the, to the link. And so you, if you notice these little blue uh, circles with the white arrows, that tells you that you've already made this a link, okay? The last thing we're gonna do is to make a link out of an image, and it's quite simple. All you're gonna do, I have our school logo right here, our emblem. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna create the, a link to where if they click on our logo here, it'll take them to our school website. So I'm gonna go to our school website, I'm going to copy control C, I'm sorry, command C on a Mac. And then I'm going to right click again, add link, web page, control V or command V, enter. And now you notice that little blue uh, circle with the white arrow popped up. Now it's a link. Let's check it out, make sure that it works. And there it is, perfect. So you were able to see how to make a simple link, a link out of text, and then a link from the an image. Now, how do we make this into a PDF from here so that when they click on it, it'll, it'll send them to that link? So this is the next thing you would do. So the next thing you would do is you would go up here and you would go to file and you're gonna go all the way to export. You wanna export it to a PDF. And then of course there's uh, different features but you don't want, you want it to be an image, uh, uh, I'm sorry, a document. You don't wanna show your presenter notes or anything like that, it's not a presentation. So um, after that, just leave it like that, you're gonna click on next. You, uh, tell it where to go, I'll send it to my desktop. And now it's creating that PDF. So now I can go to my desktop and under PDFs, I'll find it right there. So I'm gonna double click on that PDF and open it up and uh, this is the one I was working on. And there it is. And so when you send this as an attachment to your parents, to your kiddos, now it's interactive and let me show you i can click on this emblem i can click on this one and it's going to take me directly to that website notice how cool that is and it's super super simple so whenever you're going to send it out just make sure you do send it as an attachment as a pdf because now it's interactive and it'll take you uh to your uh linked uh, websites so i hope you guys like this i hope it was easy enough uh, let me know, uh, leave your comments uh, below guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course uh, click on that bell so that you can get notified every time I add new, uh, new videos. I'm going to be working on how to do the same thing on PowerPoint and Google Slides. Alright guys, have a good one.